Hey guys, this is Bea from Responsive Muse, and in this video, I'm going to show you the latest updates of our upload form widget. We published this widget ages ago, and it's been updated several times. The video tutorial that you can see before this one, um, it covers most of it, but it's been updated more times since that video. So, um, if you've, uh, you find that I've missed something in this video, it's just because I'm going to talk about the latest updates. If you need more information about how it works, then you can watch the other video. Link will be in the description too. So this is our widget. And first thing is I'm going to show you the, the options and tell you the new differences that we have. So the form labels are pretty much the same. Um, default language is English, but this means you can change it to any other language and you can type, you can write on it. Here in form settings, um, new feature is that you can actually enter any URL. So uh, the users will be redirected once they've submitted uh, the form. Okay, that's like the first, the first update. Other is that when you download this widget, you will find two PHP files. One is contact.php and the other one is contactsec.php. So we strongly recommend to use contactsec.php to avoid spam. So these PHP files have been updated and they will not send empty fields. Also, the text body format has been updated too. And I'm going to close this form settings and I'm going to open the style options. There's many more style options than before. Um, the reason why is that um, some people think that with this contact form, you can add more fields and then you can actually edit them. The thing is that you can't. Why? Because Muse contact form, for example, you can edit all the fields and you can add new fields, but those fields do not support uploading files. And this contact form, you can upload files, so it means that you cannot edit uh, the fields on it on their own or add as many as you want to. For this reason, we've added as many styling options as we could. So now if I scroll down this bar, you can see all the styling options. You can style the button, you can style also... Oh, we've added also a loading spinner. And you can choose the color too. And all about the input, the shadows, um, many, many more. If you watch the demo, you can see the options there one by one. And now you can actually upload. Uh, you don't need to zip the, all the files if you want to submit more than one. You can actually um, submit uh, multiple files. So I'm going to the demo, the live demo right now, and show you how it works. This is it. And now you can see how there's there are the loading buttons. I haven't here in the widget actually it's empty because this is the the demo that, that I made and uploaded. I haven't entered any URL so you won't I won't be redirected to any other page. But just um, to let you know that you can do this now. So I'm gonna add a name here, Bea, and an email. Hello at responsivemuse.com. Now I can choose also files. So here I have several files. And I'm going to choose more than one. You see, I have two files here. It says the number. And now I've selected three. So I'm just going to write something randomly. And then when I click on submit, you'll see the the loading it's pretty fast because I have, a, I have a quick connection <laughs> so this is how what users will see so they will know that something is going on when it's done uploading they'll see the thank you message so hope you guys like this video and you find this widget very interesting thank you very much for watching